Welcome back to Stephen A. Smith Show right here over the digital airwaves of YouTube. Before I get on out of here for this particular show, I needed to revisit what transpired this past Saturday night. Javante Tank Davis knocked out challenger Frank Martin in the eighth round, all right, at MGM Grand's Garden Arena to retain his WBA lightweight title. Martin was simply outmatched, y'all. He was outmatched against Davis's power and speed and skill and boxing IQ. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you get into the ring with boxing's number one attraction, because that's who the hell Javante Tank Davis is, okay, you're getting in with a shark in blood-infested waters. Some are calling the Baltimore native a mini Mike Tyson. With a record of 30 and 0, 28 by knockout, he's pound for pound, one of the top five fighters on the planet easily. And guess what? He might be tops overall. Now, there's some names to throw out there in fairness. Terrence Crawford, we can't forget about him. Can't forget about him. Better BF, or the better DF, light heavyweight division, can't forget about him. Okay? You got to throw him some love. Can't get around that. Canelo Alvarez, can't forget about him. My guy, David Benavidez, 28 and 0, 29 and 0, 24 knockouts. The Mexican monster, as so labeled Mike Tyson. Can't forget about him either. I brought up Terrence Crawford after his destruction of Errol Spence Jr. We know that Terrence Crawford deserves to be in the conversation. But here's the deal. This cat is 27 and 0 with 24 knockouts. Now he's special, super bantamweight. We don't see much of him. I remember I saw him knock out Nanito Donaire, Nanito Donaire, but the brother's special, no doubt. We can debate the top fighter in the world pound for pound. We can do that. What we cannot do is debate who's the most exciting fighter, who's the biggest box office attraction in boxing. That would happen to be Javante Davis. We just got we just got to accept it. He goes into the ring, Frank Martin and him talking a lot of stuff, and I knew, I, I said something special. Listen, Frank Martin's going up against him, and you hear a lot of guys talking trash, and Javante Davis is a master at messing with your mind. He's a master at messing with your head and getting inside of your head. That's true. But what really, really stood out in my mind was when he was in the press conference leading up to the fight, and he said to Frank Martin, you really, really took this fight a little bit too early. He said, you really, really should have waited. That's really the mistake you made. You really should have waited. Martin, 18 and 0, undefeated, but with 12 knockouts. And what happened? Tank Davis comes out, especially after Frank Martin was telling folks, went on Ryan Clark and the Pivot podcast, you know, uh, with Channing Crowder and Fred Taylor and those boys talking about how he buckled, you know, Tank, Tank Davis's legs and all the Tank Davis is a press conference. What are you talking about? That's a lie. What, are you, what the hell are you talking about? You don't make no sense. Blah, 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 blah. You're just lying. And you know when I knew he was lying? When Frank Martin was lying? When Tank Davis got in that ring Saturday night and from open and tap walked right to him and stalked him. Open and tap made him uncomfortable, was in his face, throwing haymakers, coming for him from opening tap. And then the knockout was beautiful. Swung a right hook, came with the left uppercut from the southpaw stance, obviously, and then he was completely caught by the, uh, off guard. Frank Mart was wobbled and left the whole right side of his face open and takes it, yeah, and took him out. There's levels to this. Frank Martin is good. He's a talented boxer, but was very deliberate in his protection and what have you because boxing doesn't come that naturally to him. So what happened is, is that you protecting yourself, protecting yourself, protecting yourself, and Javante just set you up and ultimately wore you down and caught you. And now we got to look at Frank Martin and just go like this because you're not going to get a rematch with Tank Davis. Why would he waste his time with that? So the biggest fight of your career, of your life, you blew because of the manner in which you got taken out. That's what happens. Back to the drawing board. I think that Frank Martin is a talented fighter. He'll make some things happen down the line in the future, but we'll never look at him the same after that destruction. We'll never look at him the same. Not to say that we won't respect him, but we'll never look at him the same 
because he got destroyed by Javante Davis. And that's no shame. That's no slouch. But damn, still in all, if you get destroyed, you get destroyed. And so now I'm looking at it. Javante Davis is the number one box office attraction. Who I want to see him against next is Shakur Stevenson. I don't want to see him against Devin Haney because Devin Haney has proven to me that he's not a good punch taker. So my thing is, if you're Javante Davis, you catch Devin Haney, oh, my Lord, oh, my God. You, 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 you know, you, you, you survived three knockdowns from Ryan Garcia. That ain't going to happen against Javante Davis. So I don't want to see that fight. And then I'm looking at Tank Davis, and I'm like, damn, at 135, you know you're a bit too big. You know, you look too strong. Maybe you should move up to 140, Tiafimo Lopez, stuff like that. That would be an interesting fight. But Shakur Stevenson, with all the noise that's been made about him, deserves a shot. And, of course, Lomachenko, because we know that Lomachenko is a brilliant, brilliant boxer, but he's so small. He's so small. I'm not comfortable seeing Lomachenko against Javante Davis because my attitude is nobody has a shot against Javante Davis if you can't punch with power. That's not to say that Lomachenko can't punch with power. We saw what he did to Cambosis, beat the shit out of him. But I'm saying to you, against Javante Davis, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it would be a very interesting, very compelling, but I wouldn't be worried about Javante Davis getting knocked out. I'd be worried about Lomachenko. I want to see Javante Davis in the ring with somebody perceived as having enough power to put him on the canvas, too. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. I don't think Lomachenko gives us that. I think Shakur Stevenson might. That's just where I'm at with it, y'all. That's just where I'm at with it.